Brewers regular season game nine would start off with the Brewers one two three. The Reds would have a practical one two three except for a Spencer Steer field error. The Brewers would have a practical one two three except for a self relic single. Santiago Espinal would get the first run of the game by a RBI ground out. Will Benson would get a second home run of the year, making it two nothing Reds. Bubba Thompson would get the third out. The Brewers would go one two three. Stuart Fairchild would get walked, and the Reds would go one two three. The Brewers would have the third one two three of the game. A Santiago Espinal two RBI bunt would make it four to nothing. Seems kind of weird. Three more runs would be scored by Spencer Steer and Will Benson. A Heimer Candelario RBI single would make it eight nothing Reds. JB Bukowskis would come in for Aaron Ashby finally and get the third out. A Bryce Terang two run home run would make it eight to two Reds. A William Contreras RBI single would make it eight to three Reds. Christian Yelich would get the third out. Ellie De La Fra will hit a 450 home run, making it 9 to 3. Stuart Fairchild will get the third out. A Bryce Terang two RBI double will make it 9 to 5 Reds. A Joey Ortiz RBI single will make it 9 to 6 Reds. A Will Piams will come in and throw 1 2 3. A William Couture's double, then a Christian Yelich two run home run will make it 9 to 8 Reds. Lucas Sims will come in for the Reds and throw a practical 1 2 3, except for a Reese Hoskins single. Brian Hudson comes in, second battery faces Ellie De La Fraud. He gets an inside the park home run, going from home to home in 14.9 seconds. I mean, what are we doing? Ellie is just too good. I hate to say that, but it is the truth. Anyways, after that mini rant, the Reds will get their final two outs of the inning. Fernando Cruz will come in in the eighth and throw a 1 2 3. Bryce Wilson will come in and throw a 1 2 3. Top of the ninth, Alexis Diaz will come in, give up two walks, and it would not be enough for the Brewers. All right, the Brewers lose 10-8. to The Reds take game one of the series, and the Brewers' respected Brewers player of the game goes to Bryce Terang because he got half of the team's runs, and the record is now 6-3. and three.